In this session, we will go through how to use ACE to create barcodes for shelf labels using the features built in. So let's start with inventory. We have imported inventory before, so let's go there. Go to Operations, Inventory, Inventory, and select any product, and you can see that under the barcode, there is a red number, which is really an internal barcode that was created by ACE. For every product, whether it's an individual product, member of a matrix, etc., ACE will create a unique barcode, and the barcode will be unique to each product in each store. So if you have a multi-store situation, the barcode's still going to be unique. In addition to ACE internal barcodes, you can scan in or import or enter manufacturer barcodes, which would appear in this field here, and we can print them on the label. So, what we will do when we get to the barcode labels is, we'll be using this label, and I'll show you in a second how that is done. So, we know that each inventory item has a barcode label already built in, which, by the way, we'll just go back there, could be different from the product number. Here we have the ACE product number, We could also have a vendor's product number for import, and then we have the barcode. Any of these numbers would be recognized by the system when they are trying to find the product for sale or inventory counts or any other purposes. So to create the labels, first we have to go to Setup, then to Equipments, Printers, and select the label printer that we're going to use. Naturally, we have to install the label printer first. So in your selection here, you pick a Windows printer, the US printer, or whichever printer you want to use, and you select your label printer and save. Once that is done, you can go to Defaults, Inventory, and Setup Labels. This one here has already been done, but the first time around, you select your label printer and you select the default label, which will preset for you, like this one here. Now, within your label, you can modify what you're going to print and how you're going to print it. This was a default setup for you, and this is how the label will look. If we want to move things around or change things, we can basically highlight the area. For example, custom note, click on that and put your own note here, like left side or whatever you'd like to put there. You can also move things around, for example. Here we have the barcode, and under the barcode we have the product ID. So if we want to move that a little bit to the right, we click on product ID. And here is the setup in pixels or dots. We can also do it in millimeters. One millimeter is eight dots, so let's go with millimeters. We want to move it an extra millimeter, so that's going to be 2.25 horizontally. So you can see where the product ID is located now. If I click accept, you can see it has moved a little bit to the right. So you can set up the labels any way you want, and once we have it done, click here to test. I can select the product and print a test label to see how it looks, and you can modify it to your liking. Once that is done, we are basically done. These would be your default labels, and they would be printed whenever you need to. As far as the printing of the labels go, you can print them from the inventory screen. If I go to Operations, Inventory, Inventory, select the inventory products, and there are different ways of selecting which we will look at in another session. You highlight the products that you want to print using standard Windows highlighting, shift key and clicking from where to highlight to where to finish highlighting. You click the label printer and print the labels. Now we can print the labels based on quantity on hand or just one label per product, which would possibly be for your shelves. Print and your labels are done. That's about it. Thank you.